Good day, brothers and sisters. Another day to spend with the Lord. Come, let us listen and reflect on His Word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath? rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord To do good on the Sabbath Another consideration to which the institution of Sabbath rest must yield is the law of charity. Jesus performs a work of mercy, not on behalf of his disciples, but on behalf of an unfortunate individual, a man with a stunted hand. The Pharisees admit of exception to the Sabbath rest only in danger of death. The man's ailment is not a matter of life and or death. They can say to Jesus and the sick man what the synagogue leader says regarding healing on the Sabbath. There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. This win-win solution is nothing else but hypocrisy, which Jesus condemns. The man does not show empathy for the suffering. What if Jesus is no longer around? For Jesus, Performing works of mercy takes precedence over the sacred Sabbath rest. The healing enshrines this teaching, exemplifies Jesus' ministry of love, and shows further how He, the Son of Man, is Lord of the Sabbath. <music> 